Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at Sokotoa, that's trigonometry, and we're going to find lengths of triangles. So here is a right angle triangle, and this is all about right angle triangles today. And we've got an angle, another angle labelled. This angle, the size of this angle will be given to you in the question, and you're going to use that to find one of the lengths. We then label the sides. So we have the angle here, opposite the angle is called the opposite side. Next to the right angle and the angle is called the adjacent side. And then the slanty angle, which is always opposite the right angle, is called the hypotenuse, called the hype. The op, the adjacent, the hype. In the question, you need to be able to label these in the exact correct position. So you should practice being able to label these properly and just remember the opposite is opposite the angle, the adjacent is next to the right angle and next to the angle, and the hype is the longest side, it's opposite the right angle. Okay? Now, if you can label this, we can move on, and we can have a look at uh, look using these in questions. To solve these, you're going to need to know these three formal triangles. Se o he, ke a he, te o a. And you remember it from so, ka, toa. Sine, opposite, hype. Cos, adjacent, hype. Tan, op, adj. And uh, we use these form triangles, like you would in any other subject, uh, to find each um, length of the triangle. And the, we use these buttons on the tri uh, calculator here, sin, cos, and tan. Now, Let's see this in action with the example one. Here we have a triangle, we have the 43 degrees labelled here, that's our angle. And we have 9.2 centimetres over here labelled. We want to find this length over here. We label the sides, 9.2 is opposite to the 43. And the side we want to find is the adjacent, the edge. We look at our formula triangles. We have op, hype, edge, hype and op, adj. The, we interested in op and adjacent. Op and adjacent is a tan triangle over here, so we use that one. Come over, and we want to find the adj. So we circle the adjacent, and we're left with opposite over tan. So that means the formula for adjacent is opposite over tan of the angle. This symbol here is called theta, and that's what I use to, uh, to um, label angles. So if you ever see this symbol in my videos, it's just referring to angles. So the, we put the numbers in, op is 9.2, the angle is 43, like this. And then we type that into our calculator with the fraction button and the tan button. Okay. And you should get 9.865792, which we round to... 9.87 centimetres. And that is the final answer. That is the length of this missing side. Make sure you can type that into your calculator properly. So you should pause the video and just type this into your calculator to make sure you're doing it correctly. Okay. Example two, we've got 21, six and a missing angle. And we label these as the adjacent and the hype. We want to find the adjacent and we're given the hype so which triangle uses adj and hype? That is a cos, ke, a, he. The other ang uh, triangles use opposite and opposite, and we're not interested in opposite today. Just cos, adj, and hype. So we take this triangle, this is the one we use, and the adjacent is given by cos of the angle times the hypotenuse. Adj equals cos of the angle times the hype. Putting the numbers in, the angle is 21, the hype is 6, and we tap them into a calculator. And you should get 5.6014. Make sure you type that in and you get the same answer as I do. And you get 5.6 centimetres. Okay. Example three, super, super quick. We've got these sides here. We're interested in the op and the hype. That is the se or her triangle. So, sine opposite hype. We want to find the hype, circle hype and it's op divided by sine. Hype equals op divided by sine. 
And um, we know that 10 divided by sine 59 is going to be the height. Type that in and you get 11.6633 uh, centimeters or meters here because it is in meters. And get 11.7 meters, that is a final answer. Again, just make sure you can type that into your calculator and get the exact same numbers that I do. Finally, let's have some practice questions here. These four triangles are on the screen and you can try these yourselves in your own time. So you can pause the video now and uh, take your time, see if you can get the right answers. I'm going to reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We have far more videos coming every week and have more videos on trigonometry for you to try yourselves. Have a good day and good luck in your exams.